with Silver Creek Realty Group and today I'm going to talk with you about how to prepare to buy a home. The first thing you're going to do to prepare to buy a home is you're going to make up your mind and set it as your goal that no matter what you are going to become a homeowner. It might take a little while to get there but you can do it and that's what preparation is for. Why do you want to be a homeowner? Because you want to stop paying off somebody else's mortgage and putting money into their pockets. You want to pay off your own mortgage so you can put money into your own pocket and prepare for financial freedom. Homeownership is still the first and best step to the long-term goal of financial freedom. It's important to remember that the number one thing that banks and lenders are going to look at is your credit score and your debt to income ratio. They will look at your savings and your income as well. But if you have a large income and you have a very large debt, you may not qualify for what you expect. So the thing you need to prepare is to not get into debt if you can avoid it at all, or to pay off as much debt as possible before you buy that home. Also, make sure that any payments you do have are getting in on time as even one late payment can really negatively affect that credit score. So the best thing is to go meet with a lender face-to-face, -face, not an online lender, but somebody with whom you can build a relationship so that you can work with them through the process. So what some people wait to meet with a lender until maybe a month before they want to buy a home. Usually it takes several months to get your credit and your income and your savings in such a way that it will benefit you with certain loan types. There are many loan types out there and the lender's going to help you know which one's gonna work for you in your personal situation, and they'll help you know how to prepare for that, and they'll help you know how to get out of debt and how to put more money into savings, depending on which loan product you're going to be using. So meet with that lender, and they're gonna help you every step of the way. I would say do this at least six months before, maybe even do it a year before, and that way you'll be really ready to buy the home. So once you've had that preliminary meeting with your lender, and at that meeting, they should tell you what to expect to qualify for, assuming that you're going to be paying off your debt and meeting those financial expectations for the loan product that you're going to be using. And it may take several months for you to get your finances in order. And that's great because that gives you an education time period where you can really do your due diligence and that you can begin looking at homes that are in your price range that the bank told you you would qualify for. And you can see what features you can get and what neighborhoods are in that price range. And you can really start wrapping your head around what you're going to be able to afford and then what you want in that price range and how many bedrooms and what school districts and if it's close to your favorite restaurants or parks or anything like that. Um, it's important that you take that time to educate yourself because the real estate market in Boise is very hot. Um, sometimes there's multiple offers on homes and if you haven't taken that time, you're gonna have a very hard time making an offer after you've only seen a home once. The first time I bought a home, we looked at homes for several months and the same homes were still on the market. So we had plenty of time to decide what home we wanted. It's not like that anymore. So in your preparation period, while you're getting your finances together, you are going to do that education at that point so that once you get pre-approved, you know exactly what you're looking for and it'll be easier for you to make that offer in such a short amount of time. So after you've met with a lender, if you haven't already met with a realtor, make sure you meet with a realtor at this point. Even if you're three or four or five months away from buying, your realtor is going to guide you in the right direction. Um, probably your realtor will not be showing you inside homes until you have that pre-approval letter and are ready to go, but your realtor is going to really help you in that education time period that is so critical to being able to make a quick offer. So once you have your finances in order and you've been working really hard to pay off your debt and making smart financial choices, you're going to go back to your lender and get that pre-approval letter. The pre-approval letter is what you need for your realtors to submit offers on homes for you. And as I said before, it's a pretty hot market. So hopefully you've been doing your due diligence and you've been educating yourself to know exactly what you would like in your price range. When you go looking for homes with your realtor, your realtor will help you set those expectations 
and make them realistic so that you will set yourself up for a really positive home buying experience. That's basically the steps of preparing to buy a home. So remember, you are going to prepare your finances maybe several months in advance, maybe several years in advance, and you're going to talk with a lender to help you through that so you know what to expect. Then you're going to take an educational time period for yourself to get your finances in order and to make sure that you're setting real realistic expectations of what you can afford and what you can buy in that price range. And you're going to meet with a realtor who's gonna help you through all of that. You'll get your pre-approval letter and then with your realtor, you'll make an offer and move in to the home of your dreams. So have fun with the process. Remember to be grateful that you are able to buy a home. Remember to be grateful that you are setting yourself up to be financially independent one day down the road and happy home buying.